This breaking story from overnight, two people shot during two separate road rage incidents on Houston roadways. Yeah, one of the victims is in critical condition. We just learned the driver got help along Edlo, not very far from the Southwest Freeway. The other person was shot after being followed home on TC Jester on the northwest side. ABC 13's Nick Notario is live for us with the breaking developments of both cases. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Courtney. You know, in both road rage incidents, HPD is looking for the suspects, and they're also trying to figure out how exactly it escalated from road rage to a shooting. One of those happened around 1.30 this morning in southwest Houston. Officers say a man was at a Taco Bell and got into it with another driver. We're not exactly sure what the issue was over. At some point, shots were fired, and the victim was shot in the chest. When officers he was able to drive to his apartment complex where he called for help. When officers arrived, they found him in critical condition. They found him in the 5100 block of Edlo. They put up crime scene tape around the entrance of the complex. You can see the Jeep the victim was driving when officers say he was shot. While this unfolded in southwest Houston, in northwest Houston, officers received another call of a road rage shooting on West 34th Street. What we're being told by the complainant and the witnesses is that they were having a, a traffic altercation down the road from the 34th area. And these individuals, our suspects, actually followed them home to that area to an apartment complex. They started to get into a fist fight, evidently, did not do that. Instead, it turned into a shooting. Officers say the victim was shot in the arm. He's expected to be okay. They're working to identify the suspects from that shooting. Now, to avoid these types of incidents, the Texas Department of Insurance says you want to avoid eye contact. Don't respond to aggression with aggression. Also, be tolerant and forgiving. Crime Stopper says it's even best just to slow down, get away from the person, and even give them a friendly wave or mouth, I'm sorry. It can actually go a long way to de-escalating the situation. Live in Southwest Houston, Nick Dottorio, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.